Elena, I need to start. Obviously, they're beautiful. Thank you they're, so much. They're so cute, as everyone says, and you do see this, especially on social media, yeah, that the everywhere. teacup dogs, and we look at them, we like the photos. That's correct. But this is coming under fire because a lot of people, and I know Scott is one of them, and we will be speaking to him in a second, is saying that it's actually quite cruel to, to breed dogs of this size because of the health risks. Is, is that something that's, that's ever crossed your mind when people um, do this? I think a true breeder shouldn't breed a teacup size or miniature sized dog because for obvious health problems and risks. Um, but um, in, in every litter, you can expect, uh, even from the standard size chihuahua, you can expect a runt to be born. Runt is a um, sort of term used by the kennel club uh, and teacup terms used by sort of backyard breeders to, to describe the tiny size. Right, OK. And, I mean, look, like I said, Scott, let me bring you in here because mm. you've got a lot of concerns about this, as do many yes. people, in all fairness. I've got to ask Elena, but they're, they're shaking. Is it because they're nervous? Yeah. I, think it, I think it's a little bit of nervous, but actually, if you actually let them down on the floor, they, they're very active they're all right. and happy. Yeah. These are really sure, tiny, obviously. though, these two little ones. You've got two little babies here. Yes, they're both yeah. three and a half. Oh. Immediately, I see that Lisa is sucked in uh, by the cuteness. Yeah, I am. And that's the danger. That's the danger, I know. Is that these guys are the extreme of dogs. And if we think about the history of dogs, they're all one species, mm -hmm. Anus familiaris. So they've come from a sort of wolf-like creature about this big, maybe about 20 kilograms, has a nose, has long legs. And then over the course of hundreds, even thousands of years in some cases, we have made them into a spectrum. There's about over 200 breeds in the Kennel Club mm -hmm. um, from the tiny the Chihuahua, all the way to the very large Great Dane. Now, mm. Great Danes only live to about eight. Not many people know that. The average lifespan for a dog is about 12, 13. Yeah. Chihuahuas can live considerably longer, but as vets, we see that they also have a number of health problems. Because, like what? Well, everything from heart defects to dental issues, uh, blindness issues, because these guys have got these big bulbous eyes, yeah. they're more prone to getting injuries to their eyes. Okay. Um, the runts that we're, we're talking about are basically the ones that have, have not thrived very well. So that goes against everything that nature dictates. To reproduce. Well, nature is all about natural selection. Yeah. The biggest, the strongest, the healthiest, that's the ones that we choose to breed. In this case, we're actually choosing the weakest, the smallest, the sickliest, and then concentrating their genetics into the next generation, and I think... That's quite irresponsible. Yeah. Elena, what do you say to that? I would say that it doesn't mean because the dog is a runt, it doesn't mean they're necessarily unhealthy. It's like with children, they can be born small, bigger. It doesn't mean they're unhealthy. Yes, I agree that smaller dogs need more care. They can suffer from hypoglycemia, they can have sugar drops. Mm. But as a breeder, I find usually the 20% are sort of the normal range for them to not develop and die at the earlier stages. So at Tiffany Two Hours, as a responsible breeder, we always sort of keep them longer, up until six, six months, and we always make an owner aware that they have got the special care. But, but the thing is with these dogs, I mean, they come with a, a very hefty price. Oh, tag. Okay. So it's like the smaller the dog, the more expensive they are. I, do, I, do, I, these, do the people that purchase I, them I know what goes into yeah. looking after them? Of course, yeah. We always make sure that we select the correct families, for, especially if the puppy's tiny. We make sure that there's no sort of overactive household, you know, that they haven't got the big boisterous animals. Mm. So we make, make sure people are aware, because it's extremely important that we find forever home for them, um, that where the dog's not going to be in danger. Mm -hmm. I think with Elena, I think I, I fully take on board how much you love and respect your dogs. Sure. But how are we going to choose a family that can afford £8,000? That immediately is maybe 1% of the people watching today yeah. could afford a dog that's worth £8,000. And those same people might not do the correct and responsible research into what dog suits them the best. Mm -hmm. And what I was also a little bit concerned about on your website was the fact that there was photos of dogs with phones, which would mm -hmm. suggest that you think that the smaller the dog, the similar size to the phone, yeah. The better that is, that's a concern. Can I, can I explain to you? It's just because a lot of people who are looking for a small dog, they want to see the size. Mm. And with the pictures, it's very hard to show the But size. what that's sort of advocating on your behalf yeah. is that the smaller the dog, the better. So I would suggest that a really responsible thing for you to do, because I know that's what you're trying to be, mm. is those sorts of photos don't help the cause. Because the smaller the dog, the more likely they are going to have long-term, lifelong issues. And so the more, if you're saying we shouldn't be advocating the breeding of teacup dogs, mm -hmm. then on your website, I would suggest take away any photo that has a dog and a size related. Because they, then they're more well, like, they're looking like more like fashion accessories exactly. and toys Arts. rather than actual. Oh, then on the flip side, like you say, 
people, if they are looking for a small dog, mm -hmm. they want to see the size Chihuahuas of the dog. Chihuahuas are a small breed as yes. it is, and it depends what age you take a picture next to the phone. So the puppy could be eight weeks, sure. and, you know, people are travelling far away, they want to see the size, the actual mm -hmm. size, and, you know, comparing to the iPhone, you can tell what they're going to be. Yeah, I would say there's always going to be room in this world for different sized dogs, and we've mm -hmm. got loads and loads of different sized dogs already, and it's mm -hmm. always really important for owners to look in advance and think, okay, am I quite lazy and do I have a small house? Well, they're obviously the perfect person to have a smaller dog. We already have small dogs. Mm. We don't need excessively small dogs. And by breeding the runts or by breeding the smallest of the small, we're only going to have problems. And us as vets, we are there to support and help owners and to support dogs that exist. But if we have any influence on the next generation, we'd just like them to be healthy, not purely based on the fact that they're tiny.